You want Kai? You want to give us your your fucking thoughts? <laughs> I'll give you the, the, the thumbs up. Great artwork. Ten out there of ten, is. Goku Susano. Oh yeah. That's like that. Every time I see that shit, it always reminds me of like that and the um, the one they did in Avatar, where it was like Korra versus Vatu when they were in their spirit forms. I, yes, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Mhm. Mm I forgot about that. Brandon. I mean, I honestly sped sped readed that shit so fast. Like I didn't I didn't really feel the action in it. So. Mm. I guess, you could, like, I kind of felt bored, even though there was action, quote unquote. So, like, <laughs> that's, that's how I'm going to describe it. <laughs> Yo, they need to call the next series Dragon Ball Cap, because the way they're writing this shit. <laughs> nah, because, like, I don't, I don't I really don't know how I feel about the whole chapter. Like, nothing really, like, I guess excited me or like fucking put a light bulb in my fucking head or anything like that like the only thing that was questionable to me was that susano goku because i'd never seen that before just oh. because i didn't read the previous arcs before this one so right if y'all saw it before then then that's why i didn't have any idea about it but yeah no outside of that like there was really nothing interesting about it or like there's nothing interesting for whatever chapters next like the, there was no real, real hints about the next chapter at the last panel i think so yeah no i mean i don't i, I thought it was boring honestly if mm. i'm gonna be real if i'm gonna be real oh yeah well, i mean that's all we that's all we that's all we're about here complete raw honesty you know <laughs> everyone's favorite two words constructive criticism <laughs> Okay, we're being very constructive here and critical. On okay, C. <laughs> the C to the C, yo. Like, like, yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if the Dragon Ball Tale Legends just killed this chapter for me, <laughs> or, or, or what. But I don't know. Fuck, forget about all that though. Nah, I think I think this is complete complete lackluster bullshit all on its own because if we like we can we can look at this and shrug our shoulders because we have legends but if we didn't we'd be like man fuck this shit keep it real absolutely I, so like, that's that's why we're like indifferent right now it's because it's like eh, we still have something better yeah no and, and and you know what like i'm glad you brought that up because a great that's a great talking point right there because legend or no legend Okay, because clearly that's what uh, a lot of people are going to be like kind of bouncing back and forth with the official and this now um, is the is the fact that when we look back we, month to month, not week to week, month to month that we've had this arc for as long as we've had it for. Okay, there was build up. There was teases there was a lot of questions there was a lot of mystery but at the payoff after all that shit it kept dragging and dragging to the point where it was like it lost its the interesting things that would have made it a lot more interesting died like you take take Almost this shit immediately too yeah like like i want to say around march between march and april those two chapters that, that was an exciting time for this fucking arc because this is was this was when we were seeing all of the bardock stuff right that was when this whole shit was the mo at its most interesting points because there was the the speculation and the theories and the rumors of yo like how the fuck did bardock defeat this dude Meanwhile, they're having a problem with him now, right? And just the excitement and a lot of the theory crafting that went behind that moment is what helped kind of revitalize and the the morale overall with, with with how people were taking this chapter or this arc. But as soon as that shit got deaded, 
because what ended up happening was, well, Bardock went thriving Ozaru based off of a fucking wish. Okay, he was, he essentially, like, and it was all through the finagling of the, of the wording, right? It was the wording that provided the, the context of how he defeated Gas in the first place. It wasn't that Bardock gained some crazy transformation. It wasn't that he decided, like, he was the secret hidden Super Saiyan 4 Primal Instinct before everybody else. It was none of that shit that we were fucking thinking. It was that he was asked, if you could wish for something, what would you do? And he said, well, if this shit was real, I would just wish for my sons to grow up strong. Or, as Viz put it, I want my sons to thrive. And, uh, thrive they did. Well, at least one of them. But, you know, that's, that's, that's interpretation, you know? A lot of people have argued us and been like, oh, well, Raditz lived for as long as he did, so, okay, you got that. That's fine. That's fair, I guess, right? But... At the end of the at, at, the, at the end of it all, there was evidence that backed up how that wish also protected Bardock, which which gave him the strength to just defeat Gas at that point in time. And then you know this is really weird, and it's just so funny how even with the current arc that's being written in real time how this ties back in with the movie because what happened to everybody's favorite green namekian my man needed some help and what did he do he called in a favor from shenron what what can i say guys I can't I can't make this up. I can't make this up. So, so wait wait, I, I wanna jump in real quick with ahead. that because we're we're on this we're on this piccolo wishing thing and I've I've done my fair share of hate comments plenty plenty episodes into it already, right? So I would like to say that at some point someone did bring it to my attention that well that's kind of fair. It's kind of fair game for him to do that. And I had to I had to think about that and let that slide because I was like, you know what? They they might be a peaceful race. They might not have combat abilities, but they did kind of make the Dragon Balls. Yeah. So if they want to use them, they got it. Because like you even remember, like, you know, Shenron Shenron saw him and was like, oh, you know, like Lord oh, what's Piccolo. Good? Like, <laughs> yeah, like and then of course, you know, like right at the end of the wish, like, oh, for you, psh, I got you, fam. Like yeah, my, that yo, bonus. Shenron's out here fucking working the counter. And he fucking gave yeah. him a little extra. <laughs> yeah. He put a little sauce on that shit. I'm like, oh. He said, here, this for you and your fam. <laughs> yeah. But see, but my thing is, right? And this is the difference. See, people think automatically, whenever they hear me talking about some st stuff like this, they automatically think I'm hating. See, that's the difference. I'm not hating. Because when I, when, when at the end of the day, to, to know that Piccolo now has something to keep up with everyone else, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. It's how he did it, though. That's the difference. Okay? It is what it is. You know, because you have all these characters that, whether they were handed it or whatever, a lot of them just had, you know, like, a lot of them were training for it. You know? And it just, it just... It just has a, a an extra layer of meaning behind, you know, the, 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 the forms that are unlocked or, you know, gained or whatever, you know. Yeah, sure. Like, if you ask me, like, is was it time for Piccolo to finally get something? Absolutely. You know? But the fact of the matter is, is just like, I'm making a point just kind of drawing the comparisons where it's like, we had a situation in the manga where... The, the character that is the big bad who was fighting the main character's father literally went through the same shit and he didn't even realize it and that's the that's the crazy part it's just like damn like that's wild like it's just i'm not even i'm not even trying to bring this up saying like this is shit i'm just saying like isn't that just isn't that crazy that's it that's all i'm saying that's really all i'm saying 
because you know like i said at the end of the day like listen we, this is shit that we whether we fucking like it or not <laughs> we we <laughs> <laughs> we watch it we oh, read it man. we dissect it we talk about it and that's it you know we don't have to necessarily fucking love everything either we're not hating on it some things we are it's just it is what it is right oh that's that good shit <laughs>